walking into an adult environment is a little concerning because people stare, they're gonna comment, and then it's just gonna make me uncomfortable. <laughs> we can't have children at the bar. Well, obviously I saw her. When she came into the bar, the first thing I thought was, it's illegal for children to sit at the bar. Can I get some ID? Can I get some ID? She does look young, so that's the reason why I did ask for her ID. What's going on in your life with your wedding? Yeah, I have any kind of relationship, right? My romantic life kind of sucks. I think I've dated like seven people. I attract creeps, um, a you know, like the typical like quote unquote bad boy picture kind of situation, and idiots. My last relationship had ended specifically because he didn't want to go out like to a restaurant with me or just go out and take a walk with me. And those are the kind of things that I look for as red flags. He said, I have a pretty face, but my body is I have a great personality, but I'm a He said, what a what a We're not together anymore, it doesn't matter. You still talk to him, I wouldn't talk to him after that. No, don't talk to him. You know we're right. It's difficult to date when you look like an eight-year-old. A lot of guys have an issue with it at first. Um, they, they feel that like sense of staring and that's why a lot of my relationships just don't work. It's because they don't know how to deal with my height. You gotta meet better guys. That's just it. You have to make be better really choices. It's hard to meet new people because people don't understand that I'm an adult. People don't think to come up to me or hit on me or anything. It takes them a while to get to know me and understand, okay, that she actually is intelligent, she's an adult. This is why we're gonna make you a dating app. Ew. Yeah, then we can choose for you. Yeah. That's not asking out. That's swiping left or right. I don't understand that concept. Well, you'll figure well, it'll it out. teach you. I'm hesitant about trying online dating because it's not something that feels natural to me. It takes away that opportunity of people just meeting me and wanting to make a connection. Oh, we need photos. Okay, well you don't take photos, which means we have to take photos for you. We need to take you. photos for you. I have clothes. I've never really online dated before, but my sisters convinced me to create a dating profile because it's what people my age are doing. There's this romper. That's cute. It is cute. There's this dress, which is just a skirt. Where's the dress? It's not a dress. It's, it's a two just piece. a skirt. Which means... Where is it? And then this is the top. That might get some attention. The wrong kind of attention. It's so difficult just shopping when you're Short, I guess. Finding clothes that fit perfectly is slim to none. Do you want a picture of that outfit? Do you? It's your profile. Do you want to look like a teacher? Most of the time I go to the kids section, but most of these clothes now have sparkles. They have unicorns. They have like cookies with eyeballs on it. If I look in the mirror and I see something that reminds me of something I wore during childhood, or I see a child wore, I will not wear it. So well, Riley one... doesn't want to do this, but we're going to do this. At least yes. wear leggings instead of the skirt. Nope. Oh, God. Shauna also wants to um, overcompensate for her size by dressing a little more provocatively. All right, you ready? Really. Are you smiling? Like that? You don't want to look like a child. Bite the apple. Bite the apple. <laughs> <laughs> I hate y'all so much. Then you have to change now. Which one? This one. Get it over with. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I told you not the skirt. Oh my god. Isn't it great? Yeah, it's great. Smile, bite the apple. A little softer. Yeah, just a little softer. Bite soft. a softer apple. Less intense. Maybe a side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little less oh. skin. Yeah, more skin. <laughs> she thinks I dress like a Okay, here's the thing. All of our styles are very different and more dark. Shauna's more preppy and Tara is school teacher now. 
bow, no bow. That is much better. That is much better. That's so much better. I like the bow. You want to put me on a cute. dating app, but you don't want me to dress provocative. You want to dress provocative? I have the clothes. I don't know. There, there's plenty of bad situations that can happen when it comes to people that want to date me. Um, the attraction to younger um, people, children exactly, is an issue. And there have been times that I've attracted that, and they haven't been like super old creepy guys all the time. But sometimes they are, sometimes they're younger and it's just creepy. What are we gonna say in your bio? I'm short, leave me alone. Oh, cause that'll that get so many That is not going to get hits. Online dating for Sean, I think, it's a slippery slope. The problem with online is you don't know what their really intentions are. are. Yeah. I mean, are they allowed within 500 yards of an elementary school? I mean, those are... <laughs> just went there. <laughs> those are serious <laughs> concerns of mine. Add your first profile prompt. Uh... A pro and con of dating me. <laughs> I could think of a really dirty pro. Yeah, you gotta say it now. You're at the right height. Yeah, we know. <laughs> I know. You're for right that there. For sure. uh, you wanna put that on your profile? When it comes to physical intimacy, the boxes have all been checked. Michael looks cute. He he looks like a boy. He's looking for a relationship. That's he a good dogs. guy. And he he can't baby. spell Connecticut. He did put a Q in Connecticut T. That's a little rough. Maybe. That. No, there's no explaining that. That's bad. Pass. Ooh, Greg. Kind of a nerd. This is perfect. I have he a dog. dog. Bunch of musical instruments. Cancer survivor. Yes. Hey. We're yes. We're playing. Yes, he's a cancer survivor, Shauna. I'm looking for someone who's nice, has integrity, maybe funny. Funny's good too. Honey's really good. What were you guys doing upstairs? We're just hoping to spice up her life a little bit. What are you doing? We made Shauna a dating profile. We like Greg. What? Stop we saying like Greg. Greg. Who is Greg? He's a cancer survivor, college grad. Didn't spell Connecticut with a Q. Does he know how tall you are? I don't know. None of them do, probably. I mean, we put it on, it's on profile. profile. My family's gotten way too involved in my dating life. They instantly want to know the person. They instantly want to know if he's going to stick around or not. And I, I just want to have fun with some people. Thank but you. we liked Greg. Greg has to like us. OK, Greg's not liking us. Greg's liking Shauna. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Greg's dealing with three people. We like Greg. <laughs> I'm 22 years old, but my height is 3 feet 10 inches, and my weight is around 50 pounds. I live life trapped in the body of an eight-year-old. When I was six months old, my mom noticed a bump in the back of my head. So she took me to the doctor, and the doctor said it was a tumor, a very aggressive, cancerous tumor. I went into immediate surgery, and after the surgery, I went through chemo for two to three years, and I was deemed cancer-free. I was around five, and it was kindergarten. They noticed that every kid was significantly taller than me. There was at least a foot difference between me and these other kids. That's when they took me back to Children's Hospital and learned that my um, pituitary gland was very close to dormant. So all of my hormones, my growth hormone, my sweat glands, all of that produces much slower. I got on growth hormones, but unfortunately, the doctor told me I was done growing. My bones refused at 16. So I didn't have this realization that I wasn't gonna be normal until I was 16. That moment was almost like the world shattered. Come on. I want to live my life like my friends and my sisters do, but I need my mother, my father, and the rest of the world to realize that I'm an adult. My life is complex. In a way, the advantages to my situation are you get lollipops at hair salons, you don't get stopped by people on the street asking you for stuff, um, you can play dumb when you need to, so that always works. 
And then when you talk really smart, people are really surprised and think you're a baby genius until they realize that you're 22, or they just don't believe you. But that's besides the point. Physically is where all the bad parts are, though. I can't drive. I can't sit down on a seat with my feet touching the ground. Um, I can't reach counters. I have to use stools. Um, I have to hop on couches and beds and stuff. I think that medically, my situation is rare. I know that my dwarfism is rare because it's medically caused. Um, I know that my personality is rare. <laughs> Good job, Tank. Thank you. I live on Long Island with my mother, Patty, my stepfather, Mark, my younger sister, Riley. My older sister, Tara, lives in Florida with her fiance, Jesse but she visits as much as she can. I know that walking in anywhere, I will get stares, but walking into an adult environment is a little concerning because people stare, they're gonna comment, and then it's just gonna make me uncomfortable. <laughs> we can't have children at the bar. Well, obviously I saw her. When she came into the bar, the first thing I thought was, it's illegal for children to sit at the bar. Can I get some ID? Can I get some ID? She does look young, so that's the reason why I did ask for her ID. <laughs> Thank you. Me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, you get married. <laughs> So which one of us is going to be your bridesmaid? <laughs> I am 24 years old, and I'm engaged, and Shauna is 22, so I'm only two years older than her. It seems like we have a greater age difference than the two years, mentally, physically, emotionally, all the things. I definitely believe that there is a little bit of resentment. Um, I think there's from more Shana, than a little bit. Yeah, yeah. from Shauna towards Tara. I think Shauna almost looks at it as like Tara's leading the life that she could have led had she been... Just a little bit taller. Yeah. It is difficult seeing that my other friends and my family are being more independent, but I don't envy or have any jealousy towards Tara and what her choices for her life have been, whether that's college and moving out. but. I think it's entirely unfair on my parents and that they treat Tara and I a little differently even though we're two years apart. Um, they always say that they want me to start my independence on my own with my own actions, but I can't do that if I have a leash on me. Where are I you guess going? you're not ready. She's gonna put on her makeup or something. I'm getting all dressed up because we're going out to dinner. I usually don't do full face makeup. Um, if I do do makeup, it's usually just eyeshadow and mascara. Um, I don't like wearing a lot of makeup anymore. I think whether I'm dressed up or not, I get attention. I think when I'm dressed up and I have makeup on, my mom gets negative attention. I don't think it's any different for me. I think it's different for my family. Shauna likes to dress up like any other 22-year-old, but we go out together and she gets looks like, oh, wow, what is she doing? What is that kid doing? And then I get the looks of, how could you? How could you let your child dress like this? And then my mom has to explain that I'm old enough to make my own decisions and they don't believe her and they call her a liar. So that's not fun. I feel horrible for my mom because I don't deal with all the backlash because they don't think it's appropriate to come up to a child and say these things. They think it's appropriate for them to come up to the mother, which isn't appropriate at all in my opinion. And I know it affects her. I think she covers it up very well. But I think like it's one of those thoughts in the back, like at the late of night that comes into her head. If someone had commented on me that day, she would overthink it to the day, like till she fell asleep. I think about him all the time. Um, I don't know why I'm getting upset. I know why. You know it's, why? It's just um. 
he feel? So, I guess almost guilty that she has to, she will have to go through this for the rest of her life. It doesn't seem like there's going to be a time that it's just going to be okay or it's going to be normal for her. All right, can we go? We ready? All right, let's go. All right. We're out of here. You're pretty tall there, Shauna. I'm probably like 4'2". Where are you going? I'm going to the brewery. Going to a brewery? Yeah. My friends and I are going to a local brewery, and we're going to go try, I don't know, beer, cider. We're just going to go have fun. Who are you going to a brewery with? Nye and Edric. And who are they? You know Nye. I do? Yeah, Nye used to work for Mom, and Edric is her boyfriend. All righty. Nobody else is going to be there? No. And when are you going to be back? Not, like, by, I'm thinking latest. By tomorrow? No, I'm thinking latest, like three. OK. Who's driving? Probably Edric, because. Does he not drink? One of them usually doesn't drink, because, like, they'll switch. Edric won't drink, and I won't drink. Text me the name of the brewery. OK. Can so I, I know where it is. But can I go now, because she's here now? Be so, careful. Thank you. Every time I leave the house, my parents do ask me questions. I'm used to it, but I wish it would stop. My mom is probably the worst with the questions, and I, I tell her to let me do what I want and that I'm an adult, and she understands. But my mom, I'm like the child that never grew up in her eyes. Can you unlock it? No. <laughs> just kidding, come in. <laughs> you just go to the brewery without me. Let's roll. So how are y'all? We're good, how are you? I'm okay, tired, but I'm okay. When it comes to Shauna and her independence, I know with everything in me that I should give a little more. And I really try and tell myself on a daily basis to do that. Uh, I just can't. Realistically, you have to adjust to the fact that I'm going to do what I want and that you can't always get your way. So do y'all have any advice for me, knowing my family, knowing what needs to get done in my life? I mean, you don't live at home because of college right now. Edric, do you live at home? No, I moved out recently, actually. Oh, wow. So what was that like? Amazing. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with my, my mom nagging at me now and then. <laughs> When it comes to me moving out, it depends on my mom. I mean, you know my mom. And yeah. she's very, very protective of me. So this is their goal. They're going to buy a house, and then they're going to be like an addition on the house or next to the house. And that's where I'm going to live. No, I think it's time for you to spread your wings. You yeah, know? definitely. I think Nye's reaction, she understands that I need that independence. She knows my mom personally. And she sees how much my mom has tightened the reins on me versus my other sisters. It's a very tricky situation because I want to be fully independent at one point in my life, and I don't think I ever will be with my mother and my stepfather. So when I tell my parents that I'm moving out, I don't think it'll go over well. Oh, wow. Look at this entrance, Shauna. I know. We just arrived at Jamesport, New York, and my good friends Nye, Edric, and I are heading to an outdoor brewery. So now it's time to drink. Hey, you guys. Good hey. How are you? Good. Have you guys been here before? No. no. Awesome. So we brew all of our beers here. On the back, we have some local wines and brunch cocktails if you're not beer drinkers. They okay. have cider, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, and ciders. When I drink alcohol, I'm not a big wine or beer person. I'm more of a hard liquor person, but like, Hard liquor with something else in it most of the time. Unless it's just shots, then it's shots. Can I get a cider? Yeah, of course. I'll try a cider as well. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll do a cider too. Just give me a cider. I'll go pick up the. Three food. ciders? Yeah, yeah, three ciders, please. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to back easy. at the table. So I was surprised by the group that came in just because one of the women looked pretty young, super tiny. I thought she was eight years old. And what would you say if I told you she's 22? That's insane to me because, um, I mean, how tall is she? Like two feet? Here, give me two. Here, you want it? As I spilled it. Oh, come, come get it. Come get it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah come get it. Come, come. <laughs> I got it. 
Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank I'm going to walk. Nai definitely was trying to play with me when it came to the drinks. I feel like she wants to joke more sometimes, but then she starts to feel bad. But I don't care if my friends give me a hard time. And I am grateful that my family joked off my disability because it made me have a tougher skin when it came to just normal people, let alone my friends. Put that there for him. Yep. When I first met Shauna, she had a little bit, you know, some attitude, some sass to her. But I didn't want to, like, ask her, you know, because of her height, she looked like a kid. And it was, like, kind of awkward in the beginning to ask her, like, how old are you? Yeah, now every time I see Shauna, I don't really see her for, like, you know, her height and everything. I just see her as, as, as who she is, so. Wow, that's good. That's dangerous. <laughs> right? It's like sangria. Yeah. How many drinks does it take for Shauna? Uh, to I what? Honestly, I honestly think it's Shauna right. has has a lot of has a very high tolerance. I think my tolerance level depends on who you ask. I think people will think that it takes her like a whiff of alcohol, like just smelling it to but, get her drunk. Yeah. But she can take a lot. Like she's come home tanked off of what five shots, three mimosas or I something. I don't even know. And I thought it would kill her. She was just tipsy. How's school? So stressful. I changed my major like four times. You major in business, right? No, I major in linguistics and communications. I was previously yeah, a business Yeah, I thought you major. were in business. Maybe in the beginning, I started vaping to look older. I don't know, I've always been attracted to that edgy kind of lifestyle with the tattoos, the piercing, but getting tattoos, vaping, doing anything adult-esque wasn't to show anyone else that I'm an adult. It was to prove to myself that I'm an adult. It makes me feel like I am who I want to be. <laughs> so future. I mean, I know you were chatting me in the group about that, but I don't think you're ready for that. About what, Shana? <laughs> Marriage. Marriage. I mean, is that the goal? Yeah, definitely. Do you both want to get married or? We were thinking about it. Oh, God. Yeah. With my sister getting married and my friends talking about their relationship, I'm starting to think about my own dating life. I mean, my, my sister was done online dating for me and stuff, but like, it's different when you're in my situation. Mm. So it's a more, I have to see them in person. This kind of stuff, like the, the looks that y'all get when you walk with me, that's the stuff that they have to be analyzed on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Recently, Riley and Tara set up an online dating profile for me, but I realized online dating's just not for me. But I'm still looking for new ways to meet new people. <laughs> yes, yeah, so no success. <laughs> you find someone. Yeah. It takes time. My friends could be concerned about my happiness because a lot of people do relate it to relationships. I also think that they kind of want me to have a relationship because they view it as a form of independence. They know that if the guy drives, I'll be out of the house more. Like that guy could provide so many other opportunities for me and that that's, could be what they're thinking. At the same time, do I want a relationship because of that independence or do I need it? No, I, I can do the independence thing on my own. I don't need a guy or whoever for that. Like that, it's fine. You can stay where you are.